This is the Algebra 1 in the course Practice Test 2, question number 17. The question says the table below shows the total amount of water discharged from an outlet pipe. And they give you a nice little um, table there. In my independent variable or my x or the first group would be time. My dependent variable or my y or my second group would be the amount of water in gallons. And the question says, what is the discharge rate in gallons per minute? Now, I can assume that the relationship is linear, but which means that e the difference between each section would be the same. But I don't know for sure, so I'm going to have to test. So I'm going to look at my independent variable first. And this goes up by 4. And then if I add 4 to 9, it'll give me, so this is 4 and this is 4. So these are consistent, and that's a good thing. I just need to see if they're consistent on the right side as well. Here's 70. Here's 68. And here's 68. Oh, no wonder. That shouldn't have been 70. I'm sorry. I thought this was 83, so it should be 68 as well. My bad. I don't know what I was thinking there. Anyway, as you can see, it's a consistent linear relationship because the change in the dependent variable is this is equal to between steps, and the difference between my independent variable is equal as well. So all I need to do is take the change on the top and the change on the bottom, or uh, dependent over independent, and then I just do that quick division, no problem, and I find out that it's 17, and I know that is 17 gallons per minute. So my answer is D. Not really that difficult. If you do have this kind of setup, it makes a lot of sense to just make sure that the differences are all the same, unless it says it's linear, which in that case, it's obviously the same, but you can't always just assume. And then just divide the differences in your dependent variable, your right side, or your y, whatever, by your differences in your independent variable, your x, your left side, whatever you want to call it. So good luck.